Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to The Block Church. Today's a special day where all of our locations are gathered online. So if you're watching, drop a wave emoji in the chat. Let us know that you're watching and that you're here with us. Today, if you're a guest with us, we're so glad that you're here. I want you to text TBC guest to 9400 to fill out our digital connection card so that we can get to know you. Now today, we're all in for a treat because Pastor Joey is gonna deliver a word. But before we do that, I wanna invite you back to our physical locations next Sunday for Vision Sunday. It's gonna be a day filled with a special moments, thanking God for all that he's done in 2023 and looking forward for all that he has for us in 2024. Happy New Year! Well, we hope you had a wonderful holiday season, and I want to welcome you to our New Year's Eve celebration, yeah, party of the year right here, yes. right, right now. <laughs> and we just are excited, as some of our staff has gathered, to think about, talk about, believe God for what he's going to do in 2024. And so I'm just going to take a few moments, wherever you're watching from, I'm going to invite you to lean in sense God's spirit, hear God's word for just a few moments as we approach this new year and believe for God's best. Do you believe that this is going to be your best year? Yeah. I really do. I, I believe that. And I just want to prophesy in Jesus' name, wherever you're at, that 2024 is going to be the most crucial but impactful, yeah. incredible year of your life, your ministry, your family, your finances. I sense incredible breakthrough yes. is on the yeah. way. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 So I don't know if you've ever flown uh, to the West Coast uh, before um, from the East Coast, but I've done it a few times. Uh, one time I was flying from Philadelphia, 7 a.m. to Phoenix, Arizona, had a tea time to play golf uh, at around 11 a.m. And what's amazing about that is, is you can get on that 7 a.m. flight and depending on the way the wind is blowing that day. Uh, maybe you can get there in five, five and a half hours. But if you count, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But then you're gaining three hours. So back that thing up, right? Okay, so uh, humor. Uh, so, right, so you get there 12, but really, all right, so eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, but it's really 9 a.m., right? And so I can get there, get out of the plane, and then make it to play golf before lunch. Mm -hmm. It is fun because you feel like, man, I just gained three hours yeah. of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the trick to staying young is just keep flying to the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, but then there's the problem. You, you got to go back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so when you go back, you, you're, you're gaining the three hours mm -hmm. back. So it's, it's equal, right? And what I always try to do when I'm flying back from the West Coast, if I can, is I, I try to fly a red eye because I hate wasting time. And so I'm like, if I just fly the red eye back, then I will be there the next day and I'll be ready to go to work or do whatever. But the problem is, is when I'm booking the flight and when I'm on the West Coast, I'm like, oh, this is a great idea. But then when I land and I think about dealing with loving on, leading the children, going to work, all of a sudden I'm like, this was a horrible idea, a horrible idea. And I kind of want to help you not get to the end of 2024 and go, man, that was horrible. Yeah, yeah. Or I had some really bad ideas yeah. or I have regrets. Mm. I don't want that for you. I don't want you to get to 2024 at the end and go, why did I do this? Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I've titled this talk, Future You. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, so Future You. And we're going to kind of fly to the West Coast and stay there. And then we're going to magically just kind of uh, appear on the East Coast. All right. <laughs> all right. So that, that's our goal, Future You. Uh, Bible says, Proverbs 19, 21, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose mm. that prevails. Mm. Amen. 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 Amen, because um, if you are following the will of God and if you are righteous, your steps are ordered. 
And I love that when led by the Holy Spirit, some of the plans we make, God corrects or doesn't even sometimes allow them mm -hmm. to take place. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we force it, but when we say sense of the Spirit, man, His plan prevails, and it always mm -hmm. does. That's a macro thing, but also I think it can be something personal in your life. And so I think I just want to start by saying this. What if all of us walked into 2024 fully submitted to yeah. the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Your plans, yeah. your way, yeah. Yeah. your purposes, yeah. Your design, like God, you win, and I'm just going to count myself as lost, yeah. if you will, yeah. so that I can be found. What does Jesus say? Good. He who loses his life yeah. finds it. Yeah. Mm. And so that's what I, I kind of just want to walk in and go, okay, I surrender yeah. so that I'm not fighting your plans that will prevail anyway. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you do this, okay, what will your future you say about you? Mm -hmm. Think about that. What will your future you say about you? So I want everyone to imagine for a second as you're picking at this lovely charcuterie <laughs> or doing whatever you're doing. Okay, I want you to imagine it's December of 2024 and you've just finished the holidays and it's been lovely or maybe not. I want you to imagine you've got your cup of coffee. If you drink tea, I'm sorry, but you've got your <laughs> cup of coffee. Uh, you're reviewing your journal. You're reviewing your year. Maybe you're with your spouse. Maybe uh, you're alone at a bookstore or wherever you are. Uh, and you feel genuinely thankful, mm. proud of the work you put in. Mm. Not a spirit of pride, but you understand what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and, and you're at peace. Yeah. I want everybody to get there in their brain, like almost yeah. like just for a second, close your eyes, mm -hmm. grab your little cup of coffee. Okay, I know you're a big time coffee drinker, Pastor Derek. <laughs> he made a big transition this year about that. You got your cup of coffee, you're, mm -hmm. you're sniffing it, you're smelling it, you're, you're breathing it in, you can kind of see the decorate, decorations, and you've got this overwhelming sense of peace, mm -hmm. like God won in my life. Yeah, awesome. Do you see it? Do you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what we're trying to do, future you. That's where we're trying to get. And so uh, here is some things, some, some ways that happens, okay? Like I'll, I'll just kind of give you some flow here. I was obedient to God in 2024. Yeah. I gave my very best in 2024. Mm -hmm. I led someone to Jesus yeah. in 2024. Yeah. I took a step in leadership in mm. 2024. Mm. I gave more money away to the kingdom than ever before yeah. in 2024. I lost the weight and kept it off. Come on, son. Awesome. <laughs> Why are you guys so excited? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I fell in love with Jesus all over yeah, again. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I went, I decided to be involved in the church. Mm. I, I wanted to grow my relationship with God, and I did. Yeah. Mm. I took the risk. Mm. I went on the date. Mm. I got out of debt. Mm. Yeah, that's great. I went to Christian therapy. Yeah. Mm. I made the changes I've wanted to make for years. Mm. Yeah. Amen. You're sipping your cup of coffee, and those are the things that you saw and you've written down in your journal. Don't you want to get there? Yeah. yeah. Future you wants that. So I don't know what it is for you, but I want to give you four keys to making that happen. Four keys. Write these down. First of all, if you want to do this, make it clear. Make it clear. Okay, write it down. Make it clear. Uh, Habakkuk 2.2 famous scripture. It's not necessarily about writing your personal visions mm -hmm. down, but it does give some good context uh, to God instructing the prophet. He says, then the Lord replied, write down the revelation yeah. and make it plain on mm -hmm. tablets so that a herald may run with it. Mm -hmm. Of course, again, it's an announcement. It's a prophecy, but it's, it's good principle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Write it down, make it plain. You got to think, you got to take quiet time uh, you got to write down exactly what it is you feel God leading yeah. you yeah. Yeah. to do and become in 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Write it down. So you got, and it's okay if if this happens in the month of January. It's okay if like you don't accomplish it all between yeah. today yeah. and 2024. Like 2024 doesn't start till after you know a couple days after the bowl games all end. All right, you're allowed <laughs> to eat bad until like the fourth or fifth. Uh, all right, so but you understand what I'm saying. Get, get in the mode. Pray. Think. What is it? I'm yeah. writing it down. I'm making it clear. Yeah. Making it plain. Get with your spouse. Right. Get with your brothers, your sisters, your friends. Like, man, what is it? It's good. All right. Make it plain. Here's number two. Pre-decide. 
a year of predecision. Mm. Mm. Predecisions eliminate decision making. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, particularly in our culture, we are over decision and we are excuse me we have decision fatigue mm -hmm. yeah. because we have to we're over decision we're at the grocery store it's like do i buy fruity pebbles or do i buy <laughs> you know uh you know this i don't know what fruit loops you know i don't know right um thank you <laughs> xavier has mastered cereal um, and so my wife does something with cereal though that i i find very disturbing she puts ice in her milk it's mm. crazy it's been odd. a challenge in our marriage but yeah. we're gonna get through it okay <laughs> 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 okay, um, right, pre-decisions um, eliminate decision-making. So, for instance, you know when you get a wedding invitation, you choose your meal ahead of time, and then you're stuck. Yeah. Chicken, fish, beef, whatever it is, okay, you made that decision, there's no going back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and so you've got to predetermine kingdom decisions yeah, and get comfortable being stuck with the decision you made. Yeah. Yeah. All right, because at first, a lot of times in your kingdom decisions, it's like, ooh, did I really want that? Right. Sometimes it's immediate. But you got to let God cook. Yeah. Yeah. you got to let God's process yeah. take form. So some examples. Get rid of the subscriptions that are causing you to sin and waste time. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or waste money. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, say yes to serve and don't wait for something better to come up. That's good. Okay? Reoccurring giving. That's a great example. You know, decisions. Kingdom decisions yeah. Yeah. that eliminate yeah. decisions. Yeah. 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 Pre-decision making. All right, that's number two. Number three, tell someone. Hmm. Tell somebody. Um, Alvin shared with us uh, in one of the sermons this year, his whole message was about overcoming. We're hmm. overcomers in Jesus. One of the scriptures he uses was in Revelation. We overcome by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony. Yeah. Yeah. When you feel like you have a clear direction for the year, you got to bring some people mm. or somebody else in on the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a few examples of how to, how to know who it is you're bringing in. Number one, someone who loves you. Mm. Number two, someone who doesn't gain from you. It's mm. true. Number three, someone who is truthful with you. Yeah. Yeah. Number four, someone who's going to hold you accountable. Yeah. yeah. And number five, someone who isn't afraid of you. Yeah, that's mm. good. So if you really want somebody to keep you accountable and kick your bet, butt and your bet and your butt, <laughs> if you want somebody to do that, okay, you got to find somebody who loves you, yeah. somebody who doesn't gain from you, yeah. somebody who's truthful with you, mm -hmm. somebody who's going to hold you accountable, and someone who isn't afraid of you. Yeah. Right. Okay, get somebody else in. You've, you've written it down. You've made it plain. You've prayed over it. You've submitted it to the Lord. Here's some pre-decisions I'm making. And so the pre-decisions that you're making are going to be challenging. You've got to get somebody in your corner. Yeah, yeah. You know, Netflix, let's just use that as an example or, or whatever it is. Maybe you're obsessed with Disney princesses, but it's a waste of $21 a month. I don't know. And so you got to get rid of uh, Disney Plus. All right? Like, man, I need you to be there when I cancel this subscription mm -hmm. so I stop wasting money and time. Yeah. Help me do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Simple examples, you know what God will speak to you. Yeah. You know what your hang-ups are, yeah. your challenges are. Yeah. Get somebody involved. Here's yeah. the last one. Number four, I want to encourage everybody, fast and pray. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. A rhythm of fasting and prayer. Yeah. And, and I don't just mean, every, we should be praying all the time. Yeah. Pray without yeah. ceasing. I hope that you pray every day. I pray with my kids, whatever it is. But I, I think we need seasons throughout the year of intentional fasting and focused prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, uh, you know, towards the end of the year in November, I really sensed the Lord leading me to fast through the month of November. And I don't know why I sensed that. And, it, and I, I, I think I lost some of my fasting fervor mm. um, and even strength. Fasting is a muscle yeah. you build. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so is prayer. You know, you can't pray for five minutes and all of a sudden you do it. And over time you can pray for 10. You can't sit still for 10 minutes, but you do it. And then all of a sudden you're sitting still yeah. for 30. Yeah. And so it's muscles you got to build, but you got to get in a rhythm of consistent fasting and prayer. Maybe it's once a week, you know, maybe it's one meal, whatever it is. But here's what I know about fasting and prayer. You're going to need super strength. Yes. Yeah. Yeah to accomplish what your future you That's needs. Yeah. Yeah. Fasting and prayer is just that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never regretted fasting. 
And we will have an opportunity to fast collectively, corporately this year. We always do. And I want to encourage everybody, decide now, yeah. I'm in on that fast. Yeah. Listen to this. Fasting won't accomplish your goals, or it often won't accomplish your goals, but it will remove the barriers mm. to accomplishing those goals. Because most of the time, it is us mm. and our flesh yeah. in the way mm -hmm. of accomplishing these goals. Mm. Yeah. And fasting kills the flesh, yeah. and it sets you up to walk in God's promises great. for your life. Great, man. man, I'm preaching right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I just really feel that for many of us. Mm -hmm. Focus prayer and fasting in 2024. Yeah. I want to say a prayer over you today that your future you, when you sit with that cup of coffee or whatever you do, mm -hmm. that you're like, man, I gave it my all yeah. in 2024. I got yeah. no regrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you're sitting with future you. You can see it. Mm -hmm. And you're like, man, it was a great ride. Mm -hmm. Ups and downs, challenges. But I'm sitting here proud of myself yeah, and great. my yeah. work. Great. And I'm at peace. Yeah. Yeah. So let me pray this prayer over everybody mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy mm -hmm. and peace mm -hmm. as you trust in him so that you may overflow mm. with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 What an incredible time spent together. I hope that you're feeling inspired and ready for all that God has for you in 2024. If today you want to follow Jesus, I would love for you to email us at amen at theblockchurch.org so that we can help you take the best next step in your faith journey. Now today, if you're a first time guest, we just wanna say thank you so much for checking us out. Don't forget to fill out our digital connection card by texting TBC guest to 94000 so that we can hear about your experience and your story. Now today is the last day to give in 2023. Here to stay is going well. We have about a 5% gap that we would love to be able to close as we end this year. You can give your tax deductible gift by texting TVC give to 94000. Now don't forget, next week is Vision Sunday and we'll be back meeting in person across all of our physical locations where Pastor Joe is gonna be sharing important vision for the future of the Block Church. It's such a special Sunday, and I promise you, you do not want to miss what God has in store. Now, we can't wait to see you next week.